Okay, this is Teacher Masonina from Fountain School. Today in technology we are going to continue from where we ended last time. Last time in technology grade 7 we were looking at marketing. Last time in technology studies grade 7 we are looking at marketing where we said marketing is the management process of turning an idea into a product. We said marketing is the management process of turning an idea into a product. Now today again in technology we are going to continue from where we ended where we are looking at entrepreneurship. So today we move and we are going to look at the four P's of marketing. We are going to look at the four P's of marketing. And when we talk about the four P's of marketing, we are talking about the factors that makes the business running. The factors that makes the business running. So we call these the four P's of marketing. Or the other term we can use, we can say marketing mix. We can call them marketing mix. Now, what are these four P's of marketing? Or what are these factors that can be used in business so that you keep your business running? One, we have what we call product. So the first P is the what? The product. And when we talk about the four P's of marketing, we have just used the first letters. All these factors, they start with the P. That's why we call them the four P's of marketing. So the first factor is what? Product. Then the second factor is price. So we have who? Product, then we have who? Price. Then the third factor is what? It's promotion. Promotion and the last factor is the place. So these are the four P's of marketing or the factors that you need to consider in business so that you keep your business running. So now, from the first part here, when we look at the, 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 the factors we have here, we have all the factors starting with P. So that, like I said, we use the first T letter and we say these are the four P's of marketing or you call them marketing mix. So to start with, the first part is the product. So when we talk about the products, we are saying in business, you need to have book products and these products may come in form of who? goods and the services so for you to move in business you need to have book products which are goods and the services at, at first we looked at goods and services where we said goods these are things that you can feel or touch then when it comes to services we are talking about it, those actions or maybe activities that people do for you so that at the end you give them something. So here, when we talk about products, we're talking about goods and the services. So in business, you need to have goods and the services for your business to be moving. Then, the second factor or the second what? P is what? Price. When you have goods in business or when you have services in business, you need to price your goods and the services. For you to know what you are making at the end of the day, you need to price your goods and the services. So under the same factors, the first one is the product. When you have the products, whether you have bought them or maybe you have come up, we have just seen, make those products. First thing you need to look at, you need to price your products. When pricing the products, you make sure that you consider all the things you have used to come up with those products, 
all the time we have spent to come up with the product, you need to consider those, then you price your products and the same sales. Then, after that, you need now to come up with now promotion, which is the third factor in business. What is this? Promotion is what now you make known of what you make. You tell people about the goods, what you produce. Or you tell people about the services you offer. That is now promotion. And under this, this one now we are going to have even other things like it, advertising your goods. You need to make that you need to make sure that the goods you produce are known to people. And again, you need also to tell people about the goods using other ways of informing people about what you have. So promotion is where now you tell people about the goods you produce or you tell people about the what? The services you offer. Then when it comes to the last factor, we are talking about the place. In business, you need to consider even a place where you are going to put your what? Your business. Because some places you find that people don't go there. So if you put maybe your business that side, you find that no one will be coming to your shop or no one will be coming to buy things from that place. So you need to consider a place so that that place can be maybe accessible by people or maybe people can come that side just to buy your goods. There, when it comes to a place, a place is very important. One, you need to consider a place where people can come and buy the goods. Then two, make sure that where you are, people are able to see what you produce and what you sell. So these are the four P's of marketing. So when you talk about marketing, marketing is just a a management process. So when you consider all these factors we have talked about, you find that your business will, do what? will be moving. So here we have talked about the four pieces of marketing or the marketing mix. So the first one is the product, then you have price, then you have also promotion, and then you have place. These are supposed to be considered if you want your business to keep what? Moving. The four P's of marketing or the marketing mix, they are there to help business people to manage their businesses. So the four P's of marketing, these, they work like gears. They work like what? Gears to keep the business running. So if one is not there, or if one factor is missing, you find that your business will not be moving well. So these are more like gears. They work together for the business to keep what? Moving. So if you look at the products, in business you need to have products. Then you need also to price your products after making those products. Then you need also to promote your product after producing those products, you price them, then you promote your product to customers. Then you need also to consider place where now you are marketing your goods. Then from here, I need now to talk about promotion because this is very important when it comes to business. So here we talk about just the promotion. Under promotion here, we need to know that when it comes to promotion, you need to tell people about the goods you produce and also the services you offer. So here we need to talk about ways of promoting your goods. Ways of promoting your goods or ways of advertising what? Goods. So what are some of the ways or methods of promoting goods? What are some of the methods or ways of promoting what? Goods. Or in short, we say advertising goods to people. So here, when it comes to promotion, one thing you need to consider, if you have a shop, 
one way of promoting or advertising good is by displaying what? Goods. One way is by displaying what? Goods. It can be in shelves or windows so that people can see what you are selling. So one way is by displaying goods. It can be on shelves or just see on the windows. Then the other way of promoting or advertising goods is by using the internet. So one way you can use internet, this time we are talking about the internet. So if you want to promote your goods or to advertise your goods, you can use internet. If you have maybe a phone, a computer, you can use internet to tell people about the goods you want to promote or you will produce so that they can come and buy. So you can use internet to show people the goods you have or the services you offer. Then the other way is just by using TV or radio. You can use TV or radio to promote your goods or to advertise your goods. This is one way of telling people about the goods you produce. You can just go to ZNBC or these radio stations we have in Zambia, you pay so that they can maybe show people the goods you have and at the end of the day you are going to benefit because people will see those goods on TV or listen to the radio and they will ask you maybe for numbers so that they can come and buy those goods on those areas maybe you have put in your business. Then the other way you can use is just by using newspapers you can also use newspapers to advertise your goods you can just go to these institutions that produce these newspapers so that they can put those goods you produce in the newspapers and give to people to see the goods you produce so this is also one way of, pro of, of promoting the goods and services you produce. Then the other way is just by using word of book mouth. Word of mouth is where you just maybe need just to go door by door telling people what you have. Here, there is no need of just maybe going to a radio station or TV. You need just to be moving. If you want, you can be just moving with your goods if they are not heavy and you tell people about maybe the goods you produce. Then, if you want, you can even assign people to go there, out there in the what? In the community, advertising your goods. Then, they show even the location so that the people can just come there and eat by the goods. So word of mouth is where you go door to door telling people about the goods you produce. Then here the last one is just a simple one is where I use now posters. You can also promote or advertise your goods by using me posters. Posters come in different quality types. You can use those just simple posters that you can just stick and people who are just passing can see those posters. The other way is just by using now those big posters we call billboards. Those you can just see, pay and put your what? Your products on those big posters so that people can see the goods you produce. I'm just talking about goods, you can also advertise your services on those posters and the banners so that people can see what you have 
in your shop or maybe at your company. So these are some of the methods that you can use if you want to advertise your goods under promotion. So the first one you have is just by displaying what? Goods. It can be in your shops or even just outside. You show people the goods you have by just displaying them. Then you can also use the internet if you want to advertise your goods. You can use internet to show people the goods you have. Then you can also use TVs or radios. In Zambia we have TV stations and also radio stations where you can go and pay so that those people can show people the goods you produce or you sell. Then you can also use newspapers to advertise your goods. You can also use word of mouth. Then the last one, you can also use what? Posters if you want to advertise your goods. So these are some of the words that you can use to advertise your goods. So today we have talked about the four P's of marketing that you can use in business and I said these four pieces of marketing sometimes are called marketing mix they are called marketing mix these are factors that can make your business keep running so these are factors that will make your business continue running so one we have the product under products this is why you are going to have goods and the services then two is what? Price. Under price here, I said, when you produce your goods, the second step you need to do is to price your goods. You put the what? The cost on those goods so that people now can come and buy and know the cost of the goods you produce. Then the third one is promotion. And under promotion, this is where now we are going to tell people about the goods you produce and the services you offer. And under here, we have given in the ways of promoting goods. Then the last factor is the what? Place. Under place, this is now where we are going to now find a place where you can put your business and people can come there to buy the what? The goods you have. Then I said, I will talk about much on the promotion. Under promotion, this is what now we are going to have now ways of promoting your goods where you can advertise your goods using just the internet. You can use TVs, radios, you can use newspapers, posters, and also you can just say display your goods in shops. Then you can use also just say word of mouth just by telling people about the goods you have. From here, I need just to show you a chart where I've put these things we have discussed. Okay, so now to sum up our lesson, we have now the, the chart here showing the four P's of marketing. And in the four P's of marketing here, I said we have put the product, then we have the price, we have the promotion, then we have the place. These are also called marketing mix. We call them marketing mix or the four P's of marketing. Or you can just call them factors that are that you're supposed to consider in business if you want your business to keep running. So the four P's of marketing work together like gears to keep a business running. So these four P's of marketing, they work together like gears to keep a business running. So when talk about these, these are marketing mix or the four P's of marketing. Okay, these are now the questions you are going to do for me, looking at what you have discussed today. So the first question is saying, list the four P's of marketing. List the four P's of marketing. Then the second question, the four P's of marketing are sometimes called The four P's of marketing are sometimes called Then question three 
Explain the difference between cost and price. Explain the difference between cost and price. Then question four. State the methods of advertising goods and services. State the methods of advertising goods and services. So these are the questions you are going to do for me today. Thank you for watching. This is Chichamsunda from Fountain School.